I think this is not a suitable place for uh, a sane elephant. First, he is lonely. He is bored. He don't have any interaction. The enclosure, it's terrible. So it's, uh, it doesn't meet any international uh, guidelines for uh, elephant husbandry. It's dangerous for the elephant. He can fall here. He can fall and he will not be able to go up. He will harm himself. He put more weight. He's more aggressive. So we've seen a caravan always moving from left to right and showing really strong signs of mental disturbance. My recommendation is to move this elephant as soon as possible to a better place. This elephant deserves a better place, a better husband. It was really devastating what we saw. A catastrophic situation in our opinion for the elephant. Uh, we find lack of experience here from the staff who are at the zoo. Uh, yesterday on 4th of September, we examined the elephant. The medical report will be ready in the coming few days, which we will hand to the authority. Based on this report, the authority will be able to decide if the elephant is fit to be relocated to the proposed sanctuary in Cambodia. I think Kavan is ready now to travel. All what we need now for Kavan, to put him and to train him and to prepare him. The facility here to, to train the elephant, they are far away from, from optimal. The options is that he has to be trained in a different management system, that means in protected contact. The logistic preparation, this was a big, big challenge. How to move a big giant like Kavan over five ton plus his container, which is over also five ton plus the needs of Kavan for such trip. Thanks to the team of Four Poles, thanks to the donors of Four Poles, which makes this possible. Kavan will be living at the Cambodia Wildlife Sanctuary, which will allow him to have a better life in terms of care, husbandry. The staff here is very experienced. He will be trained to get proper care. Here you have the opportunity to have 32 acres with other three female elephants. This is a temporary enclosure while we're continuing to build, of course, it's a large enclosure. There's, you know, big trees, there's, you, there's also going to have, you know, um, mud pits and water holes and a swimming pool and lots of places to, to graze on grass. It's a big pool, uh, deep for him, to his whole body uh, submerged. This is a new experience for him, we'll see how he goes uh, and gets adjusted. We engage him, we put in tires and foods around so he explores this smaller environment has a, an exceptionally good diet right now. Large percentage of it, of course, is uh, greens. We give him a, a variety of, of special foods. For instance, the moot, Mahout just brought him a banana tree. That's another one of his favorite foods. And he gets watermelon, which doesn't have the same high sugar content, but is really good for uh, fluid and, and uh, hydration. A lot has changed. He's, he's a completely different elephant now. He was stressed and nervous when he got here. Even in his old enclosure, he was still a bit concerned. Since he's moved to his jungle enclosure, he's healthier, he's happier. He's just turned into a natural elephant. He's in the jungle where elephants should be, and he's, he knows he should be here, and now he's happy to be here. I mean, he's got 16 acres of, of pure jungle. There's you know, wild animals, there's big trees, there's grass, so yeah, it doesn't get 
any better. In his height, he likes to go for a swim. He has sand, throws sand over himself, has mud baths. So he's just been like a normal elephant. Yeah, he's, he's a good weight now and healthy. His mental health is obviously improved 100%. Nature has been his cure.